G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a curious question for middle schoolers. It goes as follows. Five friends compete in a dart throwing contest. Each one has two darts to throw at the same circular target and each individual's score is the sum of the scores in the target regions that are hit. Got it. So throw darts at a target, I guess they've got scores on them, add up the two values, that's the score each person gets. Bingo. The scores for the target regions are the whole numbers 1 through 10. So I guess there are 10 regions. 1 is worth 1 point, 2 points, 3 points, 4 points, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Each throw hits the target in a region with a different value. Each, hang on, hang on, so how many friends are there? There's five friends, each throwing two darts at this target. They're telling me the, the throws each hit a different number. All right. So each friend is getting two different numbers, like one and nine, and four and six, and two and five, something like that. Okay, the scores are, oh, here goes, this is a long question. Alice gets 16 points, Ben, four points, uh, Cindy gets seven points, uh, Dave gets 11 points, and Alan gets 17 points. Who hits the region worth six points? Uh-oh. Wow. Hang on. Alice got 16, so maybe she had, like, you know, 10 and six, or... Well, hmm, 10 and 6, I guess. Does she hit it? Is that right? Oh, it could be 9 or 7. Ugh. Oh, well, don't know. Ben got 4 points, so maybe he got like 1 and 3 or something. Cindy got 7 points. It seems like there's no way I could possibly know who hit the 6-point region, who hit the number 6. Hmm. Well, it says, I look at these scores. Ben, Ben sticks in my mind, four points. So let's do strategy number 10, which is to go to extremes. Let's go to the most extreme score I see there. Ben got four points. How could he get four points? I've already said one and three, but think about it. He couldn't get two and two. He can't hit the same region twice. He was hitting two different numbers. He must have gotten a one and a three. They used up for Ben. Ha! Huh. What's the next most extreme score then? So, uh, Ben, Cindy. Cindy got seven points. How could she possibly get seven? Well, it can't be one and six, because Ben got the one. Uh, I guess it could be two and five, or it could be, th no, it can't be three and four, because uh, Ben got the three. Cindy must have had two and five. Oh, this is gorgeous. Maybe I could work my way through the extremes. What's the next less extreme? That's going to be, what, uh, Dave with 11. Maybe everything would fall into place, and I can actually see who got the region 6. This is exciting. Try it out. I'm going to invite you to try this out. Can you go through this logic and see who must have hit the region 6? So this is, this is a question being asked of us. I bet there is a unique answer. So I bet I'm very curious who it's going to be. So go for it. I invite you to go for it, see what the answer is. When you get an answer, let's compare results with the essay that goes with this video. Ha, ah, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.